One night I look up in the air and say, come on, there must be more than just go to a church and sit there two hours every Sunday and listen to somebody preaching. And at one time I start to just read the book of Acts, read about the first Christians, how they were living. They were not just sitting in a church every Sunday and listening to a sermon. They saw how life got changed where they came. We know Constantine, he came and he turned Christianity into a state religion. We see through, through church history that this hierarchy, this institutionalized church was following us all the way to the Reformation where Luther came, Calvin came, Swingley came. They were trying to reform, they were trying to bring us back to the real gospel, back to the book of Acts, but they failed. Jesus said, go out and make disciples of all nations. God's given us the same authority and the same power that Jesus himself had in the first century. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. I really think that when the church comes back to a true gospel, repent, turn to Christ, be baptized for the remission of your sins, die with Christ and rise with Christ and be filled with the Holy Spirit, that will change this world. It's time to go back to what we read in the book of Acts. I was walking like this, because okay. I couldn't move any faster. What you can do now? <laughs> the Bible's the book of life. It doesn't become the book of life by studying it. It becomes the book of life by living it. You know this healing happened how? By the power of Jesus. There's freedom. There's freedom. I was tired of looking for answers and I could not find it anywhere. I've never spoken to him before. That was awesome. That's crazy amazing. Hey, it's real. It's really real. <laughs> this is real. If this is real in the Bible, what about the rest? Every word is real from the beginning to the end. Me and Laura and I were just saying, shall we pray that we see a sign in the sky when we get baptized? I turned and I looked up and I saw real written in the sky. The Lost Reformation is actually moving across the globe right now. This is just the beginning. We need a new reformation of the church. We need a last reformation. And that has truly changed my life. And now I preach that message until the day I die.